Classes resume Wednesday at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, two weeks after a mass shooting left 17 people dead. But today, some students and teachers return to campus for the first time since the massacre. Welcome back. We love you. Welcome back signs held along the route to the school where there's now heavy security. As some students made their emotional return, one teen who was shot multiple times shared an update on her recovery alongside emergency workers. What I knew about her was multiple gunshot wounds to the chest, abdomen, and right upper extremity. I'm so grateful to be here, and it wouldn't be possible without those officers and first responders and these amazing doctors. Enough is enough. The Florida school shooting has sparked a student-led movement for gun reform that's prompted more reaction from Donald Trump today. Thank you, everybody. Speaking to state governors, Trump taking what appears to be his strongest stance yet against bump stocks, the device used in the Las Vegas shooting that allows a semi-automatic rifle to fire faster. Bump stocks, we're writing that out. I'm writing that out myself. I don't care if Congress does it or not. I'm writing it out myself, okay? Trump listed ideas like improving background checks, which he says could help prevent tragedies, and the president criticizing the response by some local police officers to the school shooting. They weren't exactly uh, Medal of Honor winners. The way they performed was frankly disgusting. The Broward County Sheriff revealed last week Scott Peterson, the armed deputy assigned to the Parkland school, did not enter the school as shots rang out. The sheriff says the officer should have confronted the shooter. Peterson has since resigned. His lawyer says the officer believed the gunfire was coming from outside the building. And CNN reports that at least three other deputies remained outside the school during the rampage. Trump today saying he would have stormed the school. You don't know until you test it, but I think I, I really believe I'd run in there even if I didn't have a weapon. Public outcry against guns making waves on our side of the border with calls for Canadian retailer Mountain Equipment Co-op to stop selling products made by Vista Outdoor, a U.S. company behind several brands, some covering ammunition and guns, including rifles like the AR-15 used in the Florida school shooting. Mac doesn't sell the weapons, but it does carry items like camping equipment manufactured by the company. Some customers going to social media with posts like this saying, I'm very disappointed to hear that Mac carries products from companies like Vista Outdoor, which produces AR-15s and lobbies against gun control. I will not be supporting Mac until they act. Reaction coming today from MEC. They're saying they take this issue seriously. Here's what we're doing now. We are actively reaching out to the outdoor brands in question, as well as other peers in the industry. We're gathering facts, listening to our members, and figuring out the best path forward for our co-op. This involves asking some tough questions about our supply chain.